Okay, it could actually be really interesting if he did it glitchless now that I think about it. It would just be like longer. Which is not a good thing when you consider most drums will end to passing out or giving up in fear of passing out if you continue. That's only if you do gold symbols. If you do silver symbols, it's interesting. In a different way. Probably still better to do silver. Because then there's just less variance. Like, based on what I saw, Worcester's run, and just thinking about it a little more. A silver symbols run would be pretty easy to do in one sitting. Um, because just most of the fights are free. Um, up to silver. And then, in, like, the battle pyramid, there's only, like, three rounds, and then, like, the battle dome. That's really fast. Um, factory isn't too bad. Battle Tower is like almost completely free. With a good team anyway, I remember. I don't and then the others I'm not sure. Does it affect the speed of the game? Or does it just affect the run at all? It means you get what four no like three seconds? extra text every time you reset so like if you're saving if you're safety saving for hard fights and then you die and then you load your save it's gonna be slower on uh, a dry battery but for the RNG manipulation you have to wait anyway so it's just the same on dry battery versus working battery. And then you actually get random phone calls during the run if you have a working battery, so it's slower. Although there might be some way to prevent that. Like, I have to wait for five seconds anyway. Still early. It's not early. Sheer, where are you at? Literally impossible for that to not be it. Uh, unless the game did something we don't know about. It would be better to just do a glitchless run of, uh, of all silver symbols or all gold symbols because the uh, leveling up you would need to do to get your Pokemon to the proper levels or uh, to get them to be all the same would double as the BB training that you need to do. And so then your Pokemon would be actually better when you get to the Battle Frontier, because what you do... Uh, nice crit. What you do with um, the Battle Tower glitch is you just give a Pokemon 10 of each vitamin, except one give that one. So it's just... 
100 EVs and 5 staffs and 10 EVs in another. And so they're not as fast as they, you'd like them to be. They're not as powerful, you know. You want Latios to have 252 in special attack, 252 in speed, and 4 in HP, not 100 in each. Swamper it would be weird because you get EVs during the run. But you would be able to get closer to that ideal spread if you did a glitch holes. And so then the Battle Frontier would have less fairness. It'd be slower, but the run would be slower overall, but the Battle Frontier would be more tolerable. TMs might be an issue, I don't know. Forgot about that. Ugh. Not being able to duplicate TMs could be a problem. Though you can get multiple Ice Beams Thunderbolts from the game corner. If you were to... Not if you need them. You don't need the Earthquake TM necessarily, you could just do Rayquaza and then not teach Earthquake um, until later uh, by leveling up, but then you have to be level 50. Level 60. Well, my target says to 34 or 25, so that is my goal. there. Time in this game doesn't really matter that much because the fastest route involves catching Abra, and that's not fun. And speedrunning is about having fun. And it's specifically like going for a good time is often not fun, and it's just like you grind and it's very rewarding when you get it. So it's not to say that like you should never grind for a time if it's not just peachy. Everybody's positive all the time. Uh, it's to say that in this game, there's actually a pretty huge execution element, um, which is unlike most other Pokemon games. Certainly, it's a, a different type of difficult of difficulty in execution than other Pokemon games. Like in Gen 1, the difficulty is in like the RNG minute hitting the four frame. In Gen 2, 
there's nothing difficult as of yet. Um, in Fire Rider on 2, it's difficulty is in managing your Pokemon account. In Gen 4, it's in RNG manipulation. Gen 5, nothing difficult to get in. Gen 6 and 7, nothing difficult to get in. Um, so the difficulty in this game is in biking well, and there's so much biking because this Owen is so good. There's so many trainers in Emerald. And so many spinners. Um, to the point where you will lose most of your runs that get good enough RNG to making an execution error or several execution errors. You don't want to introduce extremely heavy run-killing RNG on top of that, which would be catching Abra. Because you'll be forced to accept runs where you play poorly because the Abra was so good. and. But, and then it works the other way, which is even more frustrating, where you, um... Where you, uh, play well, but then you get a bad Abra. You know, let's say that you had a really good practice session before the run, and you're like, alright, I'm ready to go. You know, I, I feel like I'm gonna get all of the biking today. I'm really? I'm tempted to heal, but it's not. You know, I feel like I'm gonna get all the fight game. All the spinner minutes and... And, uh, brushed up on my menus. And then you just can't get Abra for hours and hours and hours. And it just takes away... From what makes Emerald a good speed game, which is that it has actual execution and not just RP. Yeah, thanks, Tao. This time is good, but my health is a little long. We'll need a good next fight here. And I think in order for Pokemon speedrunning to be a worthwhile activity, you need to not approach runs as just like brute force. Like, if I do enough runs, then, regardless of how well I play, I'll just eventually get good enough luck to get a good time. Like, there is some, <clears throat> you know, some intelligence in, in approaching it that way. Like, you, you don't want to neglect to do runs, you don't want to neglect um, the to give yourself chances at RNG, even when your execution isn't the best, or the run isn't as clean as you like. You do need to give yourself a lot of chances. Wow. This is terrible, isn't it? 32. Uh, I guess this works. 33 is the battle. But yeah, it, like, it's just not a healthy way to spend your time if you're just worried about... You know, it's like if you're...
Like if you're playing video poker professionally, like you found a machine that gives you um, positive EV, of which there are a few. Not many, because if, you know, as soon as somebody figures out how to exploit it, they're just going to kill the game that the casino is going to take it away, but, you know, the goal is just to, like, play as many, play as quickly as possible. To just try to get in as many hands as you can to maximize your expected job. And it's just not fun. It's not the best analogy, but it's like... Get the idea. Yeah, thank you for the luck, yeah. Yeah, I might be dead here. Uh, or I might... I might go... Maybe down with ocean. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. That's also a thing. Hmm... I, I mean, I guess this works, kind of. I'll get Torrent. This will work as long as he does what he's supposed to do. And these rolls are good, so yeah. This looks... As long as I don't... I think 13 puts him in the orange. Okay, that's 12, so I just don't miss. Don't have to. Just, well, perfect. Alright, that worked out. Uh, a little different than I expected, but... That is the perfect fight for not critical in.
Fertigkeitsschlag. Bashing in the section, that's too much. Too many cutscenes. So this is two SSL and then two uh, five. No, not five. It's not really probably two, three, three, five. There we go. So if you get a bird or no encounter, this is a really good start. Very good. It's not the god start, because I don't have three potions. Um, and that could be kind of slow. That was pretty good. As many runs are to this point, it seems, once you get the kit. Rival 2 is the real test. That's all good. Have a good night. Gets the record, there will be a video. Probably Amrak cutting out, but a video nonetheless. This could be a 26. 
Oh, dude, this is gonna go, I think. Where's Tyo? Oh, this is... Wow, that's a really good spot. Where's Tyrant's, uh... <laughs> Stadium guy. What's what's the sound bite again, Tyrant, for the for a gold spot? Oh, I remember now. That hit just the right. So good, so bad. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter whether I'm one minute ahead, three minutes ahead, behind. It just matters I don't die or make a really bad mistake. That is water gun. That is confusion. Oh, don't do it. But yeah, it's kind of like with Sapphire. Um, every run that I got was on pace to meet my goal farm. Save you know, a stray run off with too many encounters on the early splits. It was just a matter of not dying and not making a huge mistake. As long as I don't die or make a huge mistake, this should be my whole time. I guess it's almost impossible for it not to from this stage anyway. But I guess I'm on the... Said that getting too many encounters to swallow is a death. Which is not technically accurate.
No, I mean, you, you... It's not an unfair assumption. assumption anyway. <laughs> but I mean you see that my target time for that split is way way faster so it's not like oh my god what an amazing split to save three minutes it's more like oh you saved 17 seconds that's pretty Okay, do not want to take damage here. Almost bad. Yawn, yawn. Bad. Oh, lovely. I mean, this is fine, I just hate being at one potion, because it means that I'm losing time to my route. Uh, if I can die here, then I will lose time. So I don't need to do this right now. Just as long as I don't get critical by the window or miss that ball. Yeah, that'll be it. That's what, but that's because of the do bat, not because of weather. like 18 seconds to do that. Or like has been good.
What's up, Reed? Yeah. I don't know how that split was that good. I expected it to be like one to two seconds slower. But every all the luck was perfect on that split. Just needed to not play poorly, and I guess I played pretty well. The number in the top right is how many attempts I have uh, done with this category. Nice. I mean, getting a frame perfect text box is just one frame faster than getting being one frame off. Like it doesn't. Make, it might visually look nice, but it doesn't. special. And there's no way to <clears throat> to get a frame perfect text box clear other than to just time it. There's no buffering mechanic. It's the number of attempts for this game. Like, if I were to open my Pokemon Red split file, splits file, it would be like 3200. That's how many attempts I've done in that game recorded. Uh, well, I've split anyway. Yeah, OOTs are kind of unique. Kind of, well, OOT 3D is anyway. At 62, that's not gonna be. Yeah, we're not gonna get, uh, just get the guard spec, but we'll get sand attack. Ten I mean, this is really good because my healing items are low, so. I've been seeing a lot of Twitch Prime subs lately, even more than I did back when it started. So it's good that that's going strong, so it's a really good feature. Yeah, I, I recall you being subbed before, I think. Um, uh, okay. But it's 
わけよ。わあ。Wait, this. I didn't realize this was on this route.、Yeah. What am I doing here in line 4 9? Yo, Arkin, thank you for the sub. So I'll blow down to it. That was close. Nice repel. Nice, dude. This is extra time loss because we can count this. Come on, just right here. Still a good run if I get it here. The status on red glitch list,、uh, we still don't have good RNG manipulation, so a lot of runs are lost due to the manip failing. It's out of our control. But, I mean, we're still plugging away, I guess. Um, Gunner. And keys have been grinding and getting better. I did a grind to get the record back after Gunner got it.、Um, so, for whatever it's worth, it is progressing a little bit as a speed game. It's just like the manipulations are so bad that everybody pretty much hates it now. Yeah, basically, it's turned to ass, but like, it could get better if somebody is able to improve it in it. It's not, not all that is good about the game has been lost. Well, a world record red run in five years will not get poke at all because that will be banned. That will be the biggest change. Fights can only be manipulated if you are incredibly good, like consistently good at text box arming. I'm not even sure it's realistic for a human to do it. 
Um, like, it, it doesn't save that much time, so for you to actually save time on average by doing fight manipulation, you have to be insanely good and consistent and level-headed. I'm saying it's not possible, but we're definitely not there yet. The Japanese version, I mean, that, that's like... Like, when this, when the discussions happen for, oh, should we ban Poke at all, if you like, well, the Japanese do it, and that'll be a reason that people give, and that'll probably help push it there, but, like, the, the base reason is that, um, the Pokemon community has established that it makes rule changes based on what people want, not what makes sense logically. And most people in the larger gaming community see Pokedol as a glitch and are uncomfortable with it in a speedrun that is labeled as glitchless. So when those people um, start to make their voice heard, it'll just get changed because then the community just won't be considered as heaven. As wanting it to be allowed, you know. If uh, <laughs> I messed up that, wow. Well. Uh, well, that split is a little dodgy, but I'll take it. It's gonna be a bad time, but. But it's like we, we banned instant text, even though it pretty clearly isn't a glitch. We banned it from the category any percent glitchless. We did that because most people just didn't like it. Once you've set that precedent, then eventually you're just going to, you know, move toward the direction of, you know, what casual people want us to It's just... can't have it both ways. So what I've said for a while is that either instant text will get unbanned, or Poke at all will get banned. Like, you can't have both. I mean, we currently do, but that's just because we have had discussions about it. But if, you know, eventually some big streamer is gonna be like, this makes no sense, they're gonna get a lot of their uh, followers, their fans talking about it, and then it's gonna spread and there's gonna be a discussion. And then. You know, at that point, a majority of the community will want Poke at all to be banned, and so then it will get banned because that's what, how we make decisions. That's how we changed from in-game time to RTA. Like, it makes sense to change to RTA, so it happened to be, you know, a, a sensible decision as well. But I, Gunner and I were like the two people that started talking about it a lot and got the conversation going to the point where the community. Uh, was, you know, vocally in favor of real time. Not to say that people weren't independently thinking that, but the conversation kind of got built up as a result of the bigger streamers talking about it. But it makes, like, no difference to me as far as, like, how I see the run. Like, it's fine with Book It All, it'd be fine without Book It All. I don't, there's not really controversy. It's just how the community makes decisions. that is, you know, a factor. It's not something like, like, it, with instant text, it was like, it legitimately fucked with the run and what made it good. So, there was like, you know, legitimate reason to dislike the run if you allowed instant text. 
where does it feel good at all? It doesn't really change it fundamentally. I mean, it's kind of a boring part of the game, the rocket hideout, but I mean, that's fine. I wouldn't mind doing it, it's just kind of silly to change the rules, but I expect it to happen at some point. Sand attack, yes. And attack from 50 dude. This split is a disaster. Oh, so good either. What do I even do? I have one potion left. Well, I guess I, I don't know if it's super much. If you think it's a glitch, I'm not like I'm not qualified to disagree. The point that I was making was more that the community agreed that it was not a glitch. Like that was not disputed. Oh my god. So like, despite agreeing as a community that Hook it all, or sorry, that instant text was not a glitch, we banned it from the category any percent glitch looks. Um, I, I, I don't care about categorizing things as a glitch or not, because you just can't define a glitch. I mean, you can have your personal definition, but you can't have an actual definition that everybody will agree on. Or that even like the majority of people would agree on. It's just the kind of thing that is impossible to define. Uh, I think you take me. Uh, I think that's just kind of a meme, Asaya, saying hi YouTube whenever someone's on a good run. I, I don't know where it started, but I see it a lot. People saying that on runs that could be a PB. Okay, one... bad... So I would use water gun there, but light screen is up. So I guess it was bad that he used light screen, it's just faster than smog, so it's all it's fine, I can finish up. I just have to hit one more. Good. Yeah, I know that's why people do it originally, but I've seen a lot of people do that even on streams that don't have chat and like never have had chat. However, sometimes on good runs, um, dedicated speedrunning fans will capture their uh, browser window, like when the chat is really high up on a world record run, they'll just capture the chat and the video as they are watching it. 
and post it to YouTube, which I think is really cool. And in that case, your name is cemented. Speedrunning lore. Okay, it's a potion. a good run, and I'm using the risky strat at Norman's gym. <laughs> Somewhat regrettable, but we've committed to that now. Merging of the communities? What do you mean merging of the communities? Like, community is just talking to other speedrunners. Like, we're not separate communities, we have separate in that sense, I think. Separate in the sense that we have separate leaderboards because Japanese versions of the games are different. the same leaderboard because there just isn't new, like people aren't interested in watching Japanese runs because they can't read the text and most people who watch Pokemon speedruns are like 13 year olds who like to follow the story. Like why is it that People get 200 views playing Pokemon and then they play any other game and they get 70 because they lose all of the casual Pokemon fans who just want to watch the Pokemon. And if it's Japanese and they can't read what's going on, that like it's a text-based game. So regardless of what you think from a speedrunning perspective, you're just going to lose so much of your audience if you uh, just combine because... Um, nobody who has any desire of competing at all is going to play on the English version when it's five minutes slower. Like, anyone in the top 100 on the current leaderboard would get a free world record if they played on Japanese uh, for Red Blue. I mean, some of them would have to like practice a bit more, but it would be so easy that they would do it to get their free world record. Like, it's just... If you combine the leaderboards, then no one will ever play the English version again, pretty much. I'm gonna not heal this, because...
I guess some people would watch it, of course, but... Alright, this is, um, a very scary fight. Sixty-five percent chance I do hit this if I hit my headshots. Uh, I lose. Run over. Uh, okay, that's a decent roll, but this is, if I miss this, it's just over. Okay, well, still slow, but that was. Uh... That fight is some bullshit. Through the hard part. And we win. Neat. A good run and a good Norman. God, it's a 105 Norman Bang. That's good. Okay, time to super focus now. This section is not hard, but you need to focus very hard. A lot of deliberate movements. So I'm gonna lose two and a half seconds to that on this one. And my menu is gonna be weird as a result of having potions at the bottom. But um even if I had done the old shopping, I would have to buy potions. Because uh, you buy if you have zero or one and have zero. So that's kinda of cool, I guess.
too early. Interesting. Good old GameCube controller. Two mistakes in this run that I very rarely make just because my hand slipped off the button on the GameCube controller to a different button. Those mistakes are always frustrating because it's just like, you didn't do anything different technique-wise. You just, you literally, it's, it's literally, um, friction. Carvana has bad AI, so if you miss, he has a 1 in 4 chance to kill him. Only one of his... or it's a little bit more. He has, um, Crunch, Scary Face, Focus Energy, and Screech. So if he uses Scary Face and it hits, then he gets another chance, but, um, pretty much 1 in 4. And then, uh... The second Carvana has Rage and Crunch, and then two non-attack moves, but Rage only does four damage. So basically the same equation here. And then the third Carvana has good AI, so if you're in kill range, it'll go for the kill. And then if not, it'll almost always go for Scary Face, so then it'll kill you, or the Mighty Enna can kill you. So you just surf that one. Oh. Like I'm out of kill range right now. So I could just one shot, but then I would have to heal if I miss. Um, cause Scary Face into Crunch, into Bite Kills, and then Bite Flinch, or like, Crunch Special Defense Ball is just awful. So yeah, um... Surf is two fewer inputs, and it's just... 
faster, um, or it's fewer characters, so it doesn't waste that much time to serve that one. A little more than a second. So yeah, this split was really bad, um, but I'll take it. Uh, we have a pretty good lead, so I don't mind losing a little bit of time to slightly bad RNG and small mistakes. But yeah, um, the run still can die in a lot of places. Still a lot of movement left and a lot of difficult RNG. So I'm gonna flight the hike up to this attack. Yeah, see, it was just too awkward. Uh, hasn't this stream had like 100 plus for a while? Could have been a hoax. Really? I cannot believe how often I'm getting supersonic. It's fine, but man. It's just like never using this anymore. Every using this. Yeah, Twitch viewer counts are not intuitive at all. Uh, Missed a one shot. It's not bad. Like it can. Like when I get auto hosted by a big streamer, sometimes it goes up by like a hundred, and sometimes it doesn't go up at all. It's not 70. Finally, a run where it's not 70. Why is my HP not... what? Wow, apparently you need two HP to get 126. More you know. So thanks to Sinstar and Tyrant, this gym is no longer the whole hold it used to be. However, there is still one thing that is pretty much an instant run killer. 
at least in my mind, if I get it, I don't like their enemy one. Uh, and that is Parish Song from Winona's Swablu, which is 15% likely. But there's a lot of other things that can kill me, it's just extremely unlikely for each one. Ah, that's bad. It's gonna cost some time, at least, um, to heal. Okay, no protect. That's good. Uh, won't have to heal now. 79. Don't hit. Don't hit Swampert. Okay. Uh, old strats, it wasn't able to do that. Uh, we're gonna have to heal here. Could have energy powder, but I think I'd rather have powders. Uh, so we just have to heal again for a moment. Yeah, well, we'll see. It's No, <laughs> bad. Maybe I should have. Alright, that should be enough. So first roll is bad, second roll is good. Special defense, special attack. Yes, ooh, yes. This run is in really good shape, just no Parish Long, please. Kevin Turtles for no Parish Song. This is a run where I really want to keep going. I have the- I'm gonna do the normal slow backup if I get it, but, uh, really, really don't want Parish Song. This run is going to be in such good shape if I don't get it. Because I've got perfect, a perfect cast form for T and all. Come on. Yes. Six strengths. How did I end up with six? Okay, well, fuck. Uh, no, yeah. Just critical. It's fine, I just have to... I'm gonna mud shot. Critical no. 8-6 is the most awkward. Ah, uh, thanks, Ernest. Two uh... God, I hate six. Okay, we're good. Now, I'm gonna deal with this guy. Good. Bad. Very bad. Uh, if I miss, it's very bad, otherwise it's fine. 75%, but this is completely fine. Uh, huh? Still fine if I hit. But that 
this bullshit. Even with perfect HP and a perfect cast form, you can die to getting critical. They're missing one of two very favorable rangers. That did not miss. I do not know why that keeps this. Why did that miss? <sighs> Bitch. How in the world did she not spawn? Well, that was horrendous. Yeah, he only does like 30 with a plus one earthquake. Having good defense really helps. Yeah, my accuracy this run has been quite bad. I missed like two or three tackles on Awful Booch. At only minus one or minus. Yeah, minus one. And then I missed a mud shot on the Carvana and Water Institute, and I missed a strength on the Altaria. Like, you're not even supposed to get Sandy Black on that play. But I, what's supposed to happen is Scar Skarmory is supposed to, um, Barely ace you twice, and since it critical once, and then Altaria didn't hit me, it worked out. But Sand Attack and Dragon Dance are a lot slower than just getting area late, so not missing. I lost so much time for that. Alright, so the Carvana is a range here, it's not a big deal if I miss it. I'm faster than it. Alright, good. That's very slow, but. Let's make up for a crit.
entire series on this. Come on inside. This is the first run that I've gotten this far without any major trolls. Like, this is the first time I've ever made it to this point of an emerald run without any major trolls or major executions. Unfortunately, the luck just wasn't good enough in the mid-game to make this my best case ever. Thanks, Squid. Like, I've been on better pace than this, but I wasn't happy with the run, so... Doesn't matter. There has been... I mean, like, there's been individual misses, but not any sections that have really... ...problem. Uh, and I've got really nice, really nice setup here, where I'm gonna be in Torrent, just barely in Torrent. And then I'm gonna come out of Torrent, or wait, no, I'm gonna still be in Torrent for the pro bath, but I'm gonna be, like, high enough that I can survive a critical air cutter. Like, barely. Actually, wait. No, I think he still kills me with a low roll. Yeah, I think he still kills me, but we can take him. Or no, he... Wait. Yeah, like, if I can make it past TNL, I mean, I've got all the healing items I need, uh... Nice looking. How you want to miss it, I guess. But if I can make it past TNL, uh, I, yeah, I've got all the... I've got everything in order, and I've practiced Sky Pillar and Victory Road a bit. Like, I have a safer movement for the spinner in Victory right now, so I don't have to, like, think about, well, am I composed enough to do the YOLO movement? I'm just always gonna do the same safer movement. It doesn't lose that much time. Um, and it's easier to just not lose control of the D-pad that way, so I don't, like, bike too far down for the boulders. So yeah, uh... Should all be... fine as long as I don't die. Uh, can I tank a psychic for me? Curly in. Should be able to.
Yeah, yeah, I'm probably dead if Crobat crits. If he misses, I'm still in Torrent, so. but then I'm not in Torrent. Well, I'll even dead this twice, so we're good. Okay. So yeah, the next thing that can kill the run is uh, TNL, and so that is, you know, about the 147 mark. It's only like 75% that I do TNL. Actually, no, it's closer to 70. There's just so many things. Ancient power, boost, you know, criticals, ranges. Not getting torrent. Uh, Zatu. Psychic in you. It's funny, yeah, I was watching, uh, Worcester's gold symbol attempts. Yeah, this is three years ago. And he's talking about the hardest fights in the run, and it's like, okay, Rival 2, Dormant, 
champion, because uh, he's slumbered. And then he says with TNL, it's like pretty much impossible to lose that fight if uh, you don't make a mistake. And it's funny because now TNL is the riskiest fight in their own. They just had no strats for it back then. No speedrun strats, they only had just like find a way to win the fight strats. And I've mentioned this before, it's not to shit on past routing or past runners, it's just interesting. Because the improvements to Emerald over the years have been pretty gradual, but TNL was just like a huge jump. Or huge jumps. There's been a couple. There's the original Corrin strat. And then there was the, um, the Abra plus one torrent, and then there was the Abrolis, and the Abrolis plus one torrent is even faster than the Abra plus one torrent. So I think the fight is about 2 minutes faster than it used to be, and the risk is like 30% to die compared to like 5% to die. It would save about a minute. That's if you caught Abra without any additional searching, like you just caught it on the way to and from the tunnel. If you have to search for it, you lose 10 seconds per attack. So most runs would not save the minute, but you've got a few encounters to work with before you are actually losing time to this route. It's not a, it's not a fun, uh, Thing to think about searching for Abra. Okay, I've got two more, and then I should, you know, should have done Abra. So obviously you can't really think of it that way. All right, so that time loss is just from encounters. Uh, the encounter, very unlucky. I don't know Gamble, I don't have enough knowledge about the minute, but probably. Um, trash. The ranges are A to F. So A, B, C, D, F, like in school. That's just... how does it do that? How does the game lag that much? I don't understand. Uh, okay, I went down too far. I don't understand how the game lags that much. It just does not make sense.
So I realized you had a different question. What like what makes a split a B? But there are no minuses or pluses in my grading system because I couldn't find um, images uh, with pluses and minuses. But I mean it's just it's a linear scale just like any grading system you're used to. There's no calculation, it's just like, you know, the top 25% of splits or whatever, or 20% or A. And so on. PB died at what? No. I old, old PB did early brawly, it didn't die to early brawl. It was just kind of a sloppy run. Fifty-eight well, okay, one in sixteen chance I get blocked. Or one in thirty-two chance I get that. I can potion now. Okay, we're through those two barriers, and that was probably a good enough range, and we're through that one. So it means don't crit. Okay, that'll be it. Okay, the potion. I I think Zatu's guaranteed from here, but it might be a 1 in 16 range for it to live. Okay, so now I just have to hit the 1 in 16 range on Lumito. This actually might be too high as hell. I'm gonna have to see on that. Yeah, this is, this is too high. Fuck. Uh, this might actually be trouble. But if we can just win the fight first. 15 and 16 for this to go down. Okay. Good. Um, yeah, this, I don't know what to do now. This is such an unusual situation. I don't think I need it. 
I'm just gonna buy an extra balance. Thanks for the journals, guys. It always helps. Every time in the city, dude. Alright, so what do we want to see here? We need to be in Torrent at 44. We're gonna be out at 45. Or we're gonna be, uh, we're not gonna get 45. Right? Oh, okay. oh we're fine, 23. 43. Yeah, okay, we're actually fine. I thought my HP was lower than that. I am just really bad at reading the HP bar, I guess, because I've been wrong several times. It doesn't matter, you can always see it here. You just can't see it in double battles without pressing start, and pressing start is slow. Or it's just unnecessary time loss. Um, question is, do I YOLO Archie? The question is, do I YOLO Archie if I have 26 HP? That's the only question I need to think about, is do I YOLO Archie with 26? This run doesn't really matter how good the run is, it's just a question. For every run, is 26 worth YOLOing if you care at all about the run? Like, if you don't care about the run, then just whatever. And he had 50. Man. I actually have to look up this range just to make sure. I know. Uh, like, I know what the range is, but to look up the exact odds of getting each damage. Uh, but first, where is my cursor? My cursor is down below potion. I have to go up. So I will lose time from heading the potion here. Just a little bit. And 16 for him to kill me. I don't think I'm gonna risk that. If, I, if it comes to that, which would might. again. Okay, whatever S helps the damage range on my Diana. Good. Just don't miss the range. Good. Whew. 
currently at 47 all. I guess it's gonna go up to 22, up to 16. This is bad when they go out second. This, but that's good, really good. Now Goldrat doesn't get a turn. Um, okay, that is fine. So I'm not at 50. But that was a good fight. Don't. Okay. Oh god, I. Alright, it's a three serves. Oh, that is a good fight, not amazing, just good. Standard good fight. I think I'll be about even or save like five here. Because... I had to potion. Slow execution. Yeah, any double battle, just press start to see your numbers, see your HP. Um, so cursor is. Um, is this gonna be 31 or 81? It's my stack area. get bites potentially as well. I don't need them, usually. It doesn't change the strategy. It doesn't change the strategy then, it's just a waste of time. You might be curious, but... Um, resist the temptation, I guess. That movement is so awkward now. Huh? I mean, the HP threshold is like when you enter the fight. During the fight, it it's like, either you get the perfect fight... ...or you die, generally. Like, there are some... ...some situations. check it, but you shouldn't do it unless you are in one of those situations. I think from now on I'm just gonna run in that room. 
with the spinner because I hate like getting off the bike and then every time I'm thinking every, like every time I go into that that first room I'm thinking about how it might be faster to get on the bike earlier or off the bike earlier because it's so close that it depends on like your reactions and then I'm not focused on actually doing it so I mess up the movement sometimes. Alright, use bites, use bites. Ow. Still dead to a critical. Hey. Finally made it past this fight. Like when I get off the bike, then it's like I have to put my finger on X and then take it off and then find it again instead of just being ready all the time. And then I have to make sure that, like, I take my hand, like, having to take my finger off B is the issue. Because last run, if I, like, if I miss the run into bike, I don't want to just start running and doing like I did last run. And I shouldn't be like, oh, just don't miss the run on the bike, because... Like, whatever, he's 1 in 16 to hit you if you miss it, it's not a big deal. If it's 1 in 16 and he has 1 Pokemon, so it's actually a really minor mistake to just miss on that guy. Whereas other spinners, it's a huge deal. I didn't heal first turn because it was more inputs, and then if he missed Air Cutter, then I would have been at 2 high HP. And I would have just had to solo turn and I could have gotten Confuse Ray. There's so much holding one direction in C movement because the C is so big in Poem that I like to just go zigzag on the way to Zootopolis to keep my thumb and wrist loose because it doesn't matter, it doesn't lose time to zigzag unless you walk. Um, like if you're just holding one direction, it can kind of lock your wrist into don't do, uh... It's just not aligned properly for the next turns you need to do.
there's no turn. The turn frame only happens from a stationary position, so if you're just constantly in movement, there's no turn frame. I don't know where that came from, um, but I don't know of any Pokemon being where there's turn frames when you're in motion, except in Red Blue, it's a weird case. In Red Blue, it's like the first turn is a turn frame, regardless of whether you're in motion or standing, so. But that's just the first one. It doesn't have to do with whether you're in motion, and then every other turn frame in every Pokemon game that I know of. Or every other turn in every other Pokemon game that I know of while in motion is no frame slots. And where it differs is when you're from a stationary position. That's where it differs by game. In this game, it's 8 frames. In Gen 2, it's like 10. Oh my lord, what was that? I know what happened there, but... That's fine. I might get a turn frame now in Sky Pillar 2. So the cutscene started at 2.07.33. This cutscene has 13 seconds of RNG. Uh, if I get the best RNG, the cutscene will end at 2.08.40. Uh, like, exactly 2.08.40. If I get the worst RNG, it'll end at, like, 2.08.53 and a half. Or 50. 53. 53, even. And we don't know... It seems to be pretty even distribution, uh, but I don't know the odds of getting X number of frames. It's just always interesting to note that there's a cutscene with significant RNG. The RNG occurs at the very end of the cutscene when the camera just shows Tsutopolis City like this with Archie and Maxi in the background. So right now. Oh my god, we got the god cutscene. Perfect. Uh, that's, I think, what my PB got. So that's neat. But my PB fell on Skypod. So that's seven seconds I can see. super early. Uh, 
it's almost certain, like always. I almost always do sky pillar differently, like lose time in different places, but I just bomb it. So whatever. Still better than PB. Low HP, but not that uh, terrible. HP is not that important. Do I tweet the run out? I mean, the stats have already been decided. This, I'm just gonna play Brit was crit, I mean. So we'll know in about Five, six minutes, how good this rake walk is. Okay, well, now we'll get a bit of a clue. If I miss this range, it's trouble. That's a range if you have that attack. If you have good attack, it's guaranteed, so it's a nice little song. I'm actually losing time on this one. But I'm saving time over target. Uh, like, one talks forever. And 232 would be really nice here, and if I have a good rate closet, I should get it. But if I- and by good, I mean good enough to do 1x attack on Drake. If I can't do 1x attack on Drake, I don't think I'm gonna get, um... God, it's really musky fly is such a troll. Down one. Da, da, da. Yes. Uh area lace is up one, I hate that. No, can I get it anyway?
three times in one run that I've done that just because of the controller being not responsive. So, uh, this is also a range if you have below average attack. So it's possible I miss it and I still have okay attack. Good. But I can't do- if I miss that range I know I don't have good enough to do max attack under 8. So looks good right now. What's up, I'm living. So now that really the only important question, outside of Rayquaza's stats, of course, is can I get this in Star Movement? Um, this Rayquaza is probably not minus special attack, or sorry, it's probably not minus attack, which is nice, but we don't know for sure until level 71. Next Pokemon. Yeah. Sand Slash. We uh, level on that and see our stats. No. What percentage of my runs make it past TNL? less than 10%. Alright, so we want to see 235 attack. Fuck, was that good special attack though? I don't know why I cleared that so fast, I wasn't meaning to, I just didn't time it correctly. That special attack was what I thought it was, this is really good. Actually. But risky. Oh yeah. Uh, so good special attack. Um. So I'm gonna save time on the Glacia, and I'm not gonna lose time on the Sydney fight. So this is fine. Just a little concerning. It's 220 attack. 220 is okay though. It, it's not good, but it's all in Sydney to survive. See, I can't- this is why I cannot get on the bike either way. Just because of that fucking turn. Oh, get- <laughs> it's So obnoxious, having to do this while moving. Thank <laughs> you. 
is potentially bad actually. I'm gonna lose so much time here. If I get tail, uh, let's see, I'll be in... Seventy one percent. That is so. I mean, this is not going to get two thirty two, right? It can't because of bad speed on champion. Or wait. Like, I need double Blizzard Mist to get 232, don't I? I need to check Special Defense, and I think... Uh, I need to check Special Defense. This fight could lose me a lot of time. Uh, there's... And missing five, really. Okay, well, this is trouble now. This is big trouble. He might not finish. Just like the last round, it's, it's absolutely zero chance at 232, and I'm now out of aerial aces. Uh, I have to go for this, though. If I miss this range, I'll just waterfall, so it's fine. God, fucking damn it, I cannot hit fly. And not hit fucking fly. Last run that made it this far, I missed two out of three flies. Ridiculous. Lord. I should be fine. Uh, yep, yeah, 95. Oh, and I can die on this fight, by the way. Actually, wait, no, I can't. 
Never mind. I actually, my special attack is actually good enough that the wall rain is guaranteed. That's so rare. A special attack is absolutely amazing. Please use. No, I don't even care what he uses, honestly. I get my health now, but I get it. It's fine. Still saving time. Yeah, this run has had a pretty bad second half. It just hasn't been disaster, so to have a good first half of the run and then not disastrous second half is like fine by me. At this stage, um, also just critting left and right. But... Uh, what do we have? Eight. God. Uh, champion is gonna be such a shit show. I mean, everything is gonna be a shit show. This is why I don't like this part of the game, and I critical again. I, I like being close to a PV, but this part of the game is just, it's just baffling that a level 72 rate plaza has serious trouble beating the Elite Four. It, it's just baffling. It's critical. Oh, if I get double protect. I just need double protect at my point. Oh, okay, one more. It, it is close to better. Alright, so basically now we just need to not get really unlucky. Uh, we still actually can 232, we can't wait. So we got perfect rate. Um, five fucking aerial aces. God, I hate PB now. Like, that fight is so annoying. Protect bullshit. 138. You gotta be kidding me. That actually missed the input. That actually missed the input. Wow. It's actually got a citrus. Uh, that's fine. Let's do it again. Love Gen 3 lag. Love it. Love Gen 3 lag. Well, as long as I get the fly. Yes. 
Razor, that's so much Ah, uh, Fly is so slow. Uh, he's not gonna kill us. I just need to get the 75%, but if I don't, I'm fine. So. Still this cache is pretty useless. You guys ready for this time save? Watch the TV column. Just watch the TV column. Rayquaza was like fine. It's an example of a Rayquaza that is good despite not having good attack and therefore makes manipping a good Rayquaza not necessarily worth it. Look at that time save, dude. Look at that skill in saving two seconds over my PB, which was also extremely amazing. Um, so yeah, just a quick recap of this run. Um, really, really good early game. Um, I got perfect Roxanne, perfect Slate Port, um, Rival 2 didn't troll, uh, Watson was perfect. Um, the Maxi 1 split was alright. Um, perfect Flannery, very good uh, Norman, very, very good Norman. Uh, Winona's gym was a little bit weird, but it worked okay. Um, you know, I lost a couple seconds there. And then everything after that was just really sloppy, but all of the routing um, worked out pretty well so that I didn't lose time uh, yeah like the luck and execution after Norman were pretty forgettable but uh, I didn't make any major mistakes just some two to well, the, the, the biggest mistake was just using the wrong move on Drake, but it didn't actually risk losing the run, it's just time loss. A lot of GameCube controller and lag issues this run, so it's fine. Um, yeah, I could probably try to beat this, but I'm not sure I will. It's really hard to, uh, to get a 105 normal. So, and really the time save in the late game is just a little bit here, a little bit there. It's not like there's one place where I made a huge mistake or got terrible luck, so I can just 
save it back, really. It's just basically try to get a start that is similar to my PB and then get a luckier and better executed late game, and I could save 30 seconds. Um, this will do as far as a time and showcase of the route. I made so many mistakes this run, scrolling up and down. I guess I'm still just not comfortable with some of the new uh, move order, or not move order, inventory item orders, so that's fine. Um, I kind of knew that I hadn't been getting on enough runs to late game anyway to be like totally confident, but... And that's like fine because I practice the maxi one split a lot and I still mess up in runs occasionally or frequently. So, considering I've practiced the late game a lot less, I don't. I think, you know, there's still some work to be done in this game to improve, uh, improve the late game splits just with consistency of execution and then like execute techniques and such. Anyway, um, let me answer questions in chat.